I am back with another video and I am really excited about this one because it's all about activities you can do with your baby and if you're like me and you're a stay-at-home mom or you're on maternity leave or you just spend a lot of time with your baby then you would probably feel like you have run out of activities to do with your baby and you just keep doing the same thing over and over every single day during their wake windows. Well hopefully this video will give you some more ideas on what other activities you can do with your baby. Now my baby is currently eight months old, almost nine months. He is crawling at the moment in his weird, um, unique way. Um, he isn't quite sitting up all the time independently, but he can sit up for short amounts of time. So that's just to give you an idea of where he is in his development. So if your baby is around that same age, then these activities would be suitable for yours as well. Now, before we get into the activities, I do want to quickly mention our baby mat. I really, really love this because it's durable, it's easy to clean, it's made of a non-toxic foam, and in my opinion, it's just a must-have baby essential for your home, especially if you do not have carpet or soft carpet in your house. Our house is all floorboards, so we definitely need this mat. And my son Emmanuel spends a lot of his time playing around, rolling around and crawling on this mat. Now what I also love about this mat is that it has two designs. It's reversible, so on one side it's got this cute rainbow print and on the other side is this really nice terrazzo print which I personally really like and I chose this one because it goes with my home decor the most. Now Baby Mat also has other styles and prints as well so definitely check it out if you're interested in grabbing one for yourself and I do have a $25 coupon code which I will have on the screen but it's just love chic styling and you can get $25 off your order. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So this one is super simple but a great sensory activity for your baby. I just look for different cushions and blankets around the house, lie it around the mat and then let my baby explore. And he particularly loves the fluffy ones. He has this really funny face when he touches it. And it's yeah, just a great way for them to explore different textures. I really like this next activity as well and all you need is some tape. You might have some painting tape, masking tape or just any colored tape lying around the house and you probably want to choose a color that's going to contrast against the mat. Just let your baby go and Emmanuel loves this activity. It's really good for him to practice his pincer grasp which he's only just starting to learn and it makes him crawl around as well. So if you need your baby to get a bit more active for a nap, then this is a great activity to get them crawling around and exploring. This activity entertains him for quite a long time and it's just so simple and easy to do at home. For well, this next activity, you just need a baking tray and some different elastic bands. So just wrap a bunch of different colored elastic bands around your baking tray. And it will sound something like this. And this is another great sensory activity for your baby to Learn to also make some sounds with the elastic bands and just um, touch the different textures of the rubber bands as well. And with this activity you might need to show your baby what to do and it might take them a few goes to figure out what they're supposed to do with it. But once they get the hang of it they'll be fascinated by all the different sounds. Thank you. 
This next one is also a great one to help your baby learn and practice their pincer grasp. And all you need to do is smash up some chickpeas and put it in a baking tray. You can use one like this or you can use the normal muffin style baking trays which will be easier for your baby. Emmanuel is still just starting out with his pincer grasp so this was a bit hard for him to pick up. So after a few goes and a little bit of mess, we ditched the tray and just let him practice his pincer grasp on the mat. With this next one, you basically just want to find whatever you have lying around the house that is going to make a sound in a bottle. And so I've just got an old bottle of his and put in some sunflower seeds, but you can use rice or any beans and you'll get a sound like this. I've also got some quinoa and placed it in a Ziploc bag and that also makes a nice sound as well. So you might need to model to your baby the different sounds that the items make and then just let them go to town and explore. So you can really use anything around the house for this and just make sure that it's safe for them to hold and if they're going to put it in their mouths that it will be okay as well. Now this one might seem obvious to some, but you might have a play gym that you have already put away because your baby is too old for it. But we actually find that it's great for Emmanuel to practice sitting up. Um, back in the day, of course, he loved lying under this, but he is too big for that now. But it is definitely still really good for helping him practice sitting up and he plays with all the different toys while he sits up. Hope you guys enjoyed watching that video i hope you were inspired and got some ideas for yourself let me know if you would like to see a part two of this with more activity ideas also leave a comment down below if you have any other activity ideas i would love to know what they are and we can share our activity ideas around also follow me on instagram if you haven't already because i do post a lot on my insta stories there and subscribe if you want to see more mummy content and i will see you guys in the next one Bye.